Hey guys, it's Kevin here, and in today's video, I want to review Steven Greiner's Udemy course. It's called Notebook React Full Stack Web Development. And if you don't know about the course, you can check it out in the description below. And for those of you who do know, I want to make this video for you so that you can make your decision whether to take the course or not. How this video is structured is I'm going to talk about my experience, what I knew, and who should be taking this course. Then I'm going to talk about what you'll learn in this course, and finally, my overall thoughts about the course. Let's get started. Before taking this course, I had some experience with JavaScript. I did free CoCamp projects, so mainly on the front end side. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. I also had some experience with Node and React. But also I had two internships. One was in React Native and the other one was in Meteor.js. I want to take this course to get more experience with full stack and backend and integrate several APIs like Stripe and SendGrid. I wouldn't recommend this course for total beginners just because you can follow the project just fine, but you might get lost in the overall big concepts like client-server interaction, API endpoints, and authentication. I would recommend someone with a bit of JavaScript experience and preferably React and Redux. This course is a project-based course that I really like. The project that you'll be building is an application that lets business owner log in through Gmail, they can buy credits on Stripe, and then they use these credits to create surveys to send to the clients. The clients then respond to these surveys and it gets relayed back to the business owner. Let's first talk about the backend portion of the course. You'll be using Passport.js and Google OAuth to log in your users. Knowing this, you're able to use other OAuths like Facebook login. And then you'll be using Node and Express to create API endpoints that lets you to route your application or update your database. The database that you'll be using is MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database that is hosted on MLabs. And this allows you to update your database by creating users, editing users' responses, or adding credits. We'll be using Mongoose to make all these operations much easier so that you don't have to write this from scratch. I really enjoyed this portion of the course because I was able to learn things like API endpoints, authentication, and basic CRUD operations. If you're building an application, you're probably going to want to deploy it and show it off to your friends. And in this course, you'll learn about production environment keys versus development environment keys. And you'll be using Heroku to deploy your whole application onto the internet so that other people can see it. You'll be also editing scripts so that you can run your front end and your back end application at the same time. Let's talk about the front end portion of the course. You'll be building the client side application with React and Redux. But it's only a prototype, and you probably need to style it later on yourself. He assumes you already know React and doesn't go over it in too much detail, but he does have other courses in React, and I recommend checking those out too. You'll learn to build lists in React, and then you'll use React Form to build a form element so that people can send surveys out to their clients. There's another way to do this all, and that's to use React and Redux, but it only makes our lives a lot harder. I found the front-end portion a lot easier to follow because I already had React experience before. For the payment system, we'll be using Stripe. It's one of the most popular systems right now, and I think that having that skill will make you a more attractive candidate for jobs and just for a project in general. I think the Stripe documentation was really easy to follow, and you just really need to import a node module to get it working. For the sending part, we had to learn to template our emails so that it's styled for our clients. We also had to validate the form to ensure that we send the correct surveys. I thought the send grid part wasn't explained too well and we just copy and paste code without understanding what's going on under the hood. We needed to build webhooks to record what the clients responded to our surveys with. And I thought this part was explained pretty well because I now know what to use for webhooks and how to use it. And for the send grid and strike part, we need to build route specific middleware so that we can check if the user is logged in or not or if they have enough credits to send emails. I thought the course was pretty organized. There's 196 lectures, and Steven starts off with the backend part. You work with MongoDB, authentication, Node and Express, and then you move to the front end side with React and Redux. And then you add in Stripe and SendGrid. I took about four weeks to complete the course because I worked on it after work and on weekends but I did have to watch all the videos in two times the speed. I think the course is pretty worth it for its price. It's usually under $20 on Udemy, depending on the sale you get, but I think 
the skills you get from this course are really valuable. You get to work with React.js, which is pretty in demand right now, Node.js, MongoDB, and integrating Stripe. If you want to learn about full stack web development, I really recommend this course. I feel like after taking this course, if you work on your Node skills and you work on your React skills, you're able to build any CRUD app. So like a social media platform or like an e-commerce website. Nick Stevens, an effective instructor, he explains things in a concise manner. So he usually starts off with a design diagram so that you know what you're gonna do. And then he explains each line of code that he writes so that you understand what he's doing. He usually writes code and then refactors it into ex6 syntax so that you can know how to refactor your code and to write things in a more short and concise manner. He also writes a lot of diagrams so that you can understand the concepts. So like I remember in the Google authentication process, from accessing Google server to creating your own user, he explained that really well. And then also React and Redux, so he was able to explain the Redux store and the action creators, and I thought that was really helpful. Overall, I think the course was really effective, and it's one of the best Mernstack courses on the internet, and I recommend taking the course. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my Instagram.